Hey, welcome back guys. Today I've got a really cool and really simple project for you. This is something that you can knock out in an evening and have it up and functional and ready to rock and roll. So what we've got here is our Uno, an ultrasonic sensor, and a NeoPixel ring. And what this is, is a garage parking sensor. You know, if you pull into the garage and you're never quite sure how close you are to hitting the wall or something. Well, if you mount this so that the ultrasonic sensor faces your bumper, the NeoPixel ring, which you can mount up as high as you want so that you have good visibility, will give you an indication. It'll start off with a green light, letting you know you're good, then move up to a yellow light to let you know you're getting close, a red light to let you know that you're extremely close and then it will start flashing red to tell you to stop. Now the electrical hookup for this is quite simple. Okay. We have the NeoPixel has three lines, plus five, um, data and ground. So we have plus five and ground going to our bus and we have the data in this case going to pin digital 13. Uh, the ultrasonic sensor has four lines. It has VCC and ground. And we have the trigger pin going to 11 and the echo pin going to 12. We also have a ground feeding our bus and a plus five volts feeding our bus. Now, in this demonstration, I'm just doing it off the Uno. If you're going to mount this in your garage, you're probably going to want to use an external power supply for this, which you would plug into the bus itself. And then what you could do is take this plus five volt line here and move it to V in, which is right here. And that will allow you to power the UNO from your external power supply. Now, the next thing is where you're powering that external power supply, I would recommend hooking it up to an external switch. So when the garage door goes up, this comes on. When the garage door goes down, this goes off. All right, pretty simple. Let's go take a look at the code. All right, here is the code for our NeoPixel parking sensor. We're using two libraries, the new ping for the ultrasonic sensor and Adafruit NeoPixel. We have some defines here for our pins, 13 for the NeoPixel, 24 for the number of pixels, trigger pin, echo pin, and max distance. Those are for the ultrasonic sensor. Then we have two library calls to set up our pixels and one for the sonar. We have one variable distance and in setup I have serial begin set because I like to view these while I'm debugging it and pixels begin to begin the neo pixels. Now here's our main code. Distance equals sonar.ping centimeter function, which is a library function for the sonar. Then I'm printing it out so we can see what it reads. Very simple, right? Now comes the logic. This is centimeters. So we say if distance is greater than 99 or if it reads zero, which means you know, you're pretty far away from the sensor, then condition green, and we'll show you what that is in a minute. Then we say if distance is less, or, yeah, less than 60 or greater than 20, which means if it's between 21 and 59, condition yellow, and if distance is less than 20 or greater than 10, meaning 11 through 19, set condition red. And if distance is less than 10, stop. 
else we turn them off then there's a half second delay now we have our functions first one is green and we say for integer c equals 0 c greater than 256 c plus plus which means c equals c plus 1 then we have a second one and basically basically what this does is you can see it starts this green color from 0 writes them all to that color then it jumps up to the next line and the color gets brighter and it just keeps going around and around and around same for yellow same for red but when we come down here to stop we turn them all on we turn them all off and then off just turns them all off and that's all there is to it pretty simple code let's go see how it works all right everything is attached here ready to go we're in the green distance now we come in now we're in yellow as we get closer now we're in the red distance telling you to be very careful slow down and now we reach stop and that's it a super simple parking sensor that you can put together in no time and it'll keep you from bumping the wall and your wife making you sleep in the garage if you like this give me a thumbs up comment share and if you haven't subscribed yet what the heck are you waiting for i'll see you next time